Hey everybody, my name is Patrick and today we're going to go over how to get residency in South Dakota. Residency in South Dakota comes with a lot of benefits. Um, for some people, depending on your employment conditions, you can stop paying state income tax if you're a resident of South Dakota. Um, there's no death tax, low vehicle registration fees, and things of that nature. So I'm not a tax professional. If you think you would benefit from having South Dakota residency, definitely do some research on your own uh, employment conditions. A lot of times the people that can take advantage of it are traveling for work. So maybe you are an RVer and you travel full time or you're a traveling nurse or you're in the military um, or you're a pipeline worker. People like that often can benefit from having residency in South Dakota. So there are three steps in getting residency. First, you need to have a legal South Dakota address. Then you need to take the signed paperwork uh, with proof of your legal address and proof of one night stay in South Dakota to any DMV. And then the DMV assigns your license. And once you've been assigned your license, that means you are a legal South Dakota resident. So step one, get an address in South Dakota. There are lots of mail forwarding companies that offer this. Today, we're gonna to be looking at your best address. They're sponsoring this video. So we're gonna walk through this process, but again, the process should be fairly similar uh, for whatever mail forwarding company you decide to go with. This is just a small family run company out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the largest city in South Dakota. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to come to their website, yourvestaddress.com and click on compare plans. They've got two annual plans. There's the traditional mail forwarding plan, which is 299 for the first year and then 224 for renewal. If you are making this your permanent address for tax purposes, then you need to maintain the annual plan. You're basically leasing this address. So you need to maintain that for as long as it is the legal address on your driver's license. Um, so in perpetuity, they also have a digital mail plan where it's everything, in the basic plan, you know, the legal address, the residency support, the vehicle, um, registration assistance, but you also get all of your mail scanned every time it comes in. And then there's an additional, uh, client portal for them where they can see their mail and decide what to do with it. Let's just go with the basic plan for today. So go ahead and get click started. Oh, they also have seasonal plans. Um, if you're just traveling for a few months and you just want mail forwarding, but those do not give you the South Dakota address. It needs to be a permanent address that you are leasing in perpetuity. So we're going to go ahead and click the annual standard traditional mail forwarding plan. All right. So then you enter your info. and go ahead, enter that there, and it's going to continue to, to the paperwork. So we've got the paperwork here. Are you doing this for yourself or for your business? Are there one or two applicants? If you are applying with your spouse, you need to do two applicants. Um, no one whose name is not on this application can receive mail at this address. So you have to have both your names uh, on this paperwork if you're both going to be receiving mail to this address. Uh, there's no extra charge for doing two people. So get go ahead and select that one. And we're going to type out some information here. And then you need to enter your address exactly as it appears on your ID. So we'll get to the IDs in a second, but it's going to be your driver's license, your passport, whatever you're using for identification exactly as that address appears. So I'm just going to type in an address here. Uh, it's not a real address, but that's okay. So then you're going to select your two forms of ID. So let's say it's a driver's license and a passport. And then you're going to upload those two pictures through here. So you just click anywhere in this dotted rectangle. Um, you only need to upload the front of the ID, but you must include the entire front of the ID. So for training purposes, we're just going to upload a random picture here. So you would do one picture of each ID, in this case, driver's license and passport, just the front, but the entire front. All right, then your emergency contact name cannot be your own name and the default mail schedule. So do you want your mail on demand, weekly, bi-weekly, never? You're just gonna come pick it up in person when you swing through the state. Um, you can also change this after you've opened your account. There's no fee for a custom mail schedule. So if you want it on the second Tuesday of every month, 
that's perfectly fine. Um, but this is just the default for now. What mail do you want sent? So do you want them to send everything? Do you want them to not send junk? No junk, no magazines. Um, shredding is always included free. And then do you want to authorize your best address to sign for packages? Definitely recommend this. Otherwise, if a package comes that requires signing, uh, they will have to return it back to the sender. And then do you want to enroll in auto pay? So like refill your postage balance after you've mailed things out or keep your account up to date. Um, so generally recommend that. FMCA member, if you are a member of the Family Motor Coach Association, you get one month free with your best address. Um, if you're not and you're a full-time traveler, I definitely recommend checking them out. They have a lot of cool resources for full-time travelers. And then are you military? If you're active military or retired, you also get a free month with your best address, um, but you do have to submit proof of military service there with an ID. Last, you've got the rental agreement and the PS form 1583 from the post office. So go ahead and give this a read. Uh, you can also print off the blank contract or download it to your computer. Uh, so there was the agreement up here for leasing the box. And then down here is the PS form 1583. So the application for delivery of mail through agent. The agent in this case would be your best address. Then you click that you have read and agreed to the service agreement, read and agreed to the 1583, and then go ahead and sign here. Beautiful, okay. And then last, just confirm uh, that you understand that once this paperwork is submitted and you've made payment, refunds are not available um, because once you have this paperwork, you can get a legal South Dakota address with it. Um, so you need to maintain the subscription, maintain the lease on the box, uh, again, it's that it's like $224 per year after this. Um, this initial fee includes $50 in postage, so that will immediately go to your escrow, which you get back when you close your account. So we're going to go ahead and click submit. Excellent. All right, paperwork submitted. This is also emailed to you. Uh, the last step is to complete payment. So there's a link in the email, but we're going to click this link here and Go through here, enter your payment information, and then you can see that $299 that we saw at the beginning. Again, $50 postage balance, there's a $25 sign-up fee, and then some tax and processing fees uh, makes up that $299. Once you've submitted payment, then within two business days, their new client specialist will reach out to you and walk you through any final steps. Maybe there is a piece missing from the paperwork, or if the paperwork was submitted uh, complete and successfully, then she will assign your new address with your best address, uh, which unlocks your client portal and also gives you the ability to get that South Dakota driver's license. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the client portal. You can get here from the main website by going to the client portal up here in the top right. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to go with an account I've already created. So once your box number is assigned, that's this number here, and then your email address that you use to create your account, go ahead and log in. Uh, this test account is expired, but we're gonna ignore that. So here's the client portal. You can see everything you need. Uh, first and foremost, you can see your sign up paperwork. So if you click on this link here, it'll bring up all of that information that you filled out on the paperwork, but neatly organized into the customer agreement. You've got your signature here. This form, you're going to wanna print off. This is what you take to the DMV to get your South Dakota driver's license. So again, you need this form signed by your best address. And then you also need proof that you've stayed in South Dakota for at least one night. So you take your receipt from the campground or the motel or the hotel that you stayed at. And then you need whatever normal documentation you might need for a driver's license. So some other form of ID, things like that. You can find that at the South Dakota DMV website. And then also you can find the signed form 1583 this is filed by our client specialist, so you don't need to do anything with this, um, but you will want to print off the service agreement for your driver's license. All right, you can also see a couple other things here, like your current postage balance, you can add postage, uh, shipping preferences, you can change um, your mailing preferences, change your current address. You can also do it through a voicemail, you can see your mail history, you can see your billing history, you can change your phone and email, uh, you can see your expiration date, you can renew your account, you can set your text notifications for when your mail is sent and things like that. And overall, just uh, general client services. So that about covers it. Just to summarize, you need a legal address in South Dakota through a mail forwarding service like your best address. You need to take that signed agreement with your PMB number address. 
along with a receipt saying you stayed for one night in South Dakota and some identification to any DMV in South Dakota. And then that will get you your South Dakota driver's license, which makes you a resident of South Dakota. So you can start potentially claiming the tax benefits and the lower vehicle registration costs um, that that provides. Again, do your own research on whether you can take full advantage of being a resident of South Dakota. And if you have any questions, please leave comments below or stop by yourbestaddress.com and reach out to them through there. Thanks. Have a great day.